Welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. I have a partnership with Pretty Little Thing today, so y'all are going to see me getting ready for that. For today, we're going to go for like more of a calm look for the makeup and for our hair. We're going to do the curls that we did in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, go on my channel and go watch. I didn't do anything to my hair since I filmed that video. I'm kind of excited because I get to get cute. I haven't got cute in a long time because I really don't go anywhere. Like ever since I left college, I just haven't been going anywhere. And so I've really been in the house. I had no reason to get ready. But today we'll get ready. Yay! So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, I'm really excited to show y'all how I do my makeup because I did a TikTok on it the other day and people were asking for a tutorial. So I really just feel like I can really pop shit with this. Ooh, I'm cussing. I'm not supposed to be cussing. Um, I'm just brushing out my eyebrows right now because they look a little crazy. Don't mind my hair. It's going to get fixed. I promise. It's going to get fixed me really on youtube like i thought i was never gonna do youtube again i'm really excited to do more content that's more of me at school and stuff because i do attend the illustrious southern university it is pretty fun all the time so i'm really excited to share that with y'all because i feel like i needed somebody to show me what college was like before i got into college and all the videos that i watched wasn't really helpful <laughs> So I feel like I could really show y'all like what college is about because I love my HBCU. Like I'm so glad I picked Southern because I would have been mad if I picked anywhere else. <laughs> so now that my face is drying from the primer, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Um, I'm really not going to explain how I do my makeup or anything because that could be for another video. But today I'm just going to be talking to y'all and yeah, I'm going to give y'all a little life update because I haven't spoke to y'all in a long time and some people are new to the channel so they really don't know about me. So my name is Ariane Lopez. I attend Southern University and I'm a freshman. Yes, uh, right now I'm home on winter break. Really fun, really fun. Um, yeah. Um, for... My makeup i usually try to do like i don't know if you guys ever seen people talk about the uk makeup but i try to go for that uk makeup look but today i'm gonna try to do a more natural look so for my concealer i usually just put a lighter concealer on my inner and then yeah but anyways since i really want to get back into this youtube thing i really want some advice or some opinions about what y'all think i should do so y'all tell me what y'all want to see i can't do what y'all want to see unless y'all tell me so just comment and tell me what you want to see and also you can go to my instagram where i'm more active at ari the doll i always post on there never a day that i don't post and you can also see my life my everything when i don't post on youtube so yes do y'all put your foundation on first or do you put on your concealer first? I always put on my concealer first. I don't know why. Yeah, I put my concealer on first. I really... Don't ask me why. I don't know. I I really don't know. I just started doing that recently. But I've been getting good at my makeup. So, I just feel like... That girl. Because now I can actually do my makeup and I don't be struggling. I love 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 this foundation but it is running out and it is so expensive please please watch these videos because a mama needs to get paid but yeah so this is my concealer but i like to put foundation on before i put powder on but yeah so, you know how I said I wasn't going to put that much foundation on? I lied. 
I'm sorry. I don't know how I got here <laughs> to this much, but it's okay. I'm just going to blend it in real quick. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to put some powder on. So, if I look crazy for the next three minutes, don't say nothing. Okay, y'all. I just want to know, like, really, like, how are y'all doing? Because, like, me personally, I'm doing amazing. And I always want to ask people how they're doing. That's my favorite thing to do, to check up on people. My favorite thing is to ask people how they're doing and what can I do to make their day better. So I hope my video brought you some light to your day. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since I like to spray my face halfway through when I'm doing my makeup Cause I just want my face to set a little bit I don't know, it makes sense to me in my head so I just do it Put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me lay a great time on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Just say you will. Well, I'm gonna start doing my hair. Um, I told y'all that I'm just gonna do um same thing that I did in the last video. Nothing special. Hopefully, we don't have the same problem that happened the other day. My hair got like where the lash was and it started irritating me because right now it's kind of laid to where it's not irritating me. But I just hope it stay like that because I really do not want to be lashless on New Year's Eve. And we're listening to New Year's looking crazy. So, can you guys do me a favor and comment down below if you're in college or if you are still in high school? Um... I was still supposed to be in high school, actually. That's a fun fact. If nobody knows, I actually graduate. graduated a year early, so. And then I'm going to go back through and get the pieces that are kind of, like, stiffer. Because I do curl my hair with a flat iron, so it kind of does leave that mark every time I curl it. But it should be fine, I think. But yeah, I think I asked y'all this already. Do y'all like y'all makeup first? Like to do y'all makeup first or like to do your hair first? Today's outfit is super cute. Being an influencer was one of those things that I wanted to do because why not? Like it's super fun. Like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's the same thing as my YouTube, Ari the Doll. With a dot in the middle, two E's, two I's, and two L's. That's like one thing. Nobody ever asked me why I have two I's like in my Instagram name. They never asked me why. And I always wanted to tell somebody why. It's because it's two to two. Like the angel number is two to two. Uh, it's two I's, two E's, and two L's. Like double, double, double. Yeah. Yeah, that's why my name is like that. I don't think that's, I think that's probably why I'll never change my name from Ari the Doll. But also, like, where I was in life when I came up with that name. Yeah. Like, a long time, I really didn't have that much friends or anything. So, when I came up with Ari the Doll, like, for a long time, I was so many different things. I was Ari the Princess. Uh, Princess Ari. I was everything like underneath the sun. Yeah <laughs> That's one thing I can't say like I didn't I like when I was in high school That's probably one of the reasons why I graduated early is because I didn't have that much friends or anything like how other people do But it was okay though cuz God blessed me With my college friends Yay Like I had some friends here and there like in high school but I really didn't have that much friends. I know it doesn't really matter, like, oh, the quantity. But in high school, the high school I went to was very clicky. Like, if you was friends with this person and that person didn't like you, then you couldn't be friends with this person. 
And I feel like that was dumb and pointless, <laughs> honestly. I was tired of high school. It, well, not really high school in general, because I really, I didn't really like do much in high school. I was a cheerleader, but that was that was about it. Like I did student government, and I did certain things around campus, but it wasn't like big things. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in high school. Like the other day, I was just thinking about it. I was like, I was really supposed to be graduating this year in May. I was supposed to be graduating, but yeah. Life is good right now, honestly. I honestly miss my friends, like, way too much. They're, like, my favorite people on this earth. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but if you can survive the high school that I went to, you can survive anywhere, honestly. <laughs> and it wasn't honestly about, like, your personality or anything. Because I wasn't, I wasn't, like, a bad person or anything. It was just who you knew and who you wasn't cool with. But I didn't care. Anyways. Yeah. I, I don't think I would be able to survive four years of high school. That burned. Like, really bad. Oh, Lord. That's from that spritz. Like, some people were cool, but, like, the other people, they made you hate your experience. Make you just not want to come to school. Which I didn't for a long time. I, like, I'm glad I'm in the space that I'm at right now to be able to say, like, I'm happy. Because once upon a time, I was literally struggling to even get up and go to school. Because I just didn't want to be around that energy anymore and i just didn't want to be there anymore and it's really like a little town like there's no escaping it like you can probably go to a different school but you're still gonna be around that energy and around those people that you were trying to get away from i can say like really i i found my happy place with going to southern like i really and like now i'm more like i don't care like i really do not care like <laughs> Like, and that's one thing I can say, college is totally different than high school. I promise you, there is no drama, like, there's there's drama, but it's not like drama like how high school was and how people just get on you for no reason or they don't like you for no reason. Everybody minds their business. If you don't want to be around a certain person, you don't have to be around them. The campus is so big. And unless you're sharing a friend group, you really don't have to see that person face at all. Like, it's really pointless in college to be because we're grown. Like, we're grown as heck. And I wish people understood that in high school because it was really pointless why they was arguing. Or people people didn't like me because I, I, can, I can't even tell you why people didn't like me. It makes you want to just stay in the same little box that you're in. Like, no, get out that box. Like, you you got everything like god put you in a situation for you to learn and if you're not learning and you're not growing because of certain people and the vibes that are around that's literally lame because what the world that's i think that's kind of why when i come back home every time like i've only been back home twice and every time i come back home it makes me realize like why i left and why i wanted to graduate early and why i wanted to do everything out of the state and not be in the state no more it's because i had to leave like I wasn't made, I wasn't made to stay here. Like some people, like it's not nothing wrong with it, but some people just stay here and they just, they, um, they don't grow. They just stay and they just, they do what they got to do to survive. I don't want to do what I got to do to survive. I want to do what I want to do. And, and that's like one of the blessings about college. You get to do what you want to do and experience what you want to experience. It's not just a learning curve where you're like, okay, I'm going to college just to get my education, just to get my degree in four to five years. No, it's really a learning experience. Like, I'm really glad I didn't stay here because I'm learning and I'm growing in a different state away from my mom. Like, that's one thing about it. I was really sad when I had to leave my mom, but I had to do it. And she understood that. Like, she understood that I had to go. Like, I had to leave. And for me to graduate early, it was really hard, like, for my mom, like, that I was leaving. Like, she had the process that I was leaving, and I had the process that I was leaving, too. Because <laughs> I really, I, like, it didn't hit me that I was leaving until, like, the day of where we packed up the van and was like, okay, this is your stuff, Ari, and we're about to go to Louisiana. That, that right there got me. You know, it's... It's little things like that that make you just miss home, like my mom and stuff. But, but outside of that, if if my mama didn't live here, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Like, I probably wouldn't be back. That's like facts. Because I really did not like it here. Sorry to say it. I didn't like it here. But yeah, this is my hair. I'm trying to fix this part right here because it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's like kind of curling up, but 
I just gotta brush it out. But I just don't wanna brush brush it too hard and then it make lines and stuff. But yeah, y'all, that's just my view on college and leaving for college. So if you were like second guessing going to college or leaving out of state for college, do it. It's really an experience. And if you don't leave out of state for college, just don't turn back. Just don't turn back. Don't go back to your old ways. Don't hang out with the same people. Well, you can hang out with the same people, but don't hang out with the people that didn't make you feel wanted or needed. Hang around people that make you feel like you're important. Like, that's one thing I learned. I hang around people that make me feel important. They make me feel loved. They make me feel cherished. I love being around them because they make me feel loved. Like, if you don't feel love, why are you going to be around? Like, it don't make no sense. And so, if you if you do, like, stay in state for, for college, just don't be around negativity. Don't be around the energy that brought you to the point where you want to leave. Like, I would have stayed in Florida. But it's, like, the fact that I needed to get away. I didn't graduate early for no reason. Like, because the people that was mad and bitter are still here. Like, you you can't get away from negativity if you're going to stay where the negativity is. Like, it don't happen like that. So, when I left and when I did what I had to do and go to college, it, it was like a game changer. There was so much people that was around that just, like, that was negative. It just disappeared. I went to college, first of all. I went to college, graduated three years. I became this freshman. And, like, nobody knew me, and I still won. And then on top of that, I found my friend group that really made me happy. And I post my friends all the time. People be like, oh my gosh, y'all having so much fun. It's because they make me happy and I chose to be with them. Like all this stuff that I'm doing right now, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. The people that were mad are not doing it. I want to do more in life. I want to go big and go and go far in life. But right now, as we speaking, I feel happy and that I'm glad that I go to Southern. Or that I go to HBCU in general. I think I would have felt this way if I went to... Clark Atlanta, I feel like I would have been the same way. Like, I would have been happy still. And that's all that matters, just to be happy. Like, honestly. And I didn't even know I was going to get into a little rant. But <laughs> but it's the truth. Like, you just need to be happy. That's all that matters. Your happiness is over anybody else's happiness. Like, at the end of the day. Don't let nothing hold you back. Don't let you, nobody tell you that you can't do it. I don't think you should do it. I don't care what you think I should and shouldn't do. Because it's my life. And I'm so glad. Because now... I'm living a peaceful life. Oh. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, that was the Ari rant. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> to the next segment. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga Catch me out on ocean drive with her Catch me in the whip, ride with her Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her Pray you get that job in Tampa That's only four hours away Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster Oh, whichever one hey y'all so i finally just finished making all my videos for instagram and now i'm going to recurl my hair because i don't know what happened i think it's because i really didn't try to curl today <laughs> so my hair was like nope you need to actually try if you guys know how to curl let me know how let me know how y'all learn because nobody taught me so i had to <laughs> figure it out and that's why I'm bad at curling, especially with royal court. Like you gotta curl your hair for everything. So I was curling my hair every single day, and then now it's like curls is what I like to do. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you please subscribe. And if you're not, make sure you click that like button. Comment down below. Um, comment down below your favorite style, your hairstyle, favorite hairstyle. Yeah, do that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready and my little rant session that I had. I hope to do it more often because sometimes I do go some places. I know I'm not a homebody all the time. <laughs> Next time I do get ready, I hope to film it for you guys. And if you guys like this one, then I'll just do some more. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Yay!